What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video. Today I'm doing a video of must-haves you need to lose weight. These are things I truly believe that I needed to start my journey and be serious about my journey. And in the beginning I didn't know what I needed. It was basically trial and error to find out what helped me through my journey, what items I needed like measuring cups, stuff like that. So um, if you're new to your lifestyle change or your journey or your weight loss or your diet, um, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to give you all the little tips of things you might want to go grab for your little journey. It's going to help you along, make things easier, and we all want things to be easier, right? So that's what this video is. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, you guys. I'm getting so many views, but nobody wants to hit the thumbs up button. Comment, subscribe. I'm getting a lot of comments and I'm responding, so I love that. And thank you for everybody that's watching me and supporting me on my journey. And hopefully I'm giving you guys tips and tricks along the way. Um, I wanted to start out and just show you guys real quick my outfit of the day. It's just a little summer gym outfit. It's very bright. It's very lightweight. I got it at Costco. It was under $10. It kind of swirls down here, so I like that. And it's got an open back, if you can see it's crisscross. Super cute. So, outfit of the day. I'm wearing it with just some leggings and then my Nikes. So, outfit of the day, guys. Had to show you. I love this bright color and I'm not a color person I wear black usually so anyways let's get started on your must-haves for weight loss I'm gonna prop you guys up all right so these are all things you guys when I started figuring out probably about six months into my journey I really realized okay we're doing this I'm losing weight I'm serious so let me get more serious let me get more focused let me get stuff that's gonna help me not quit my journey and help me succeed and that's what this is about I want to help you guys succeed I don't want you guys to be like well I don't know what to do so I'm not gonna do it I don't know where to start it's not that overwhelming but it can be if you make it so first and foremost I want to say my fitness pal is the first thing that I really need personally a lot of people don't but for me no matter what diet lifestyle journey no matter what kind of um, change you're doing in your life for weight loss or toning um, I really believe calories in calories out it doesn't matter if it's keto vegan vegetarian I you can be a vegetarian from what I've seen and gain weight if you eat all day long vegetarian junk you know what I mean so I feel like all of those that I just listed are great ways to lose weight and I do not um, I don't knock any of them but I do believe they all are successful because people also pay attention to what they're eating they either portion it smaller or it's calories in calories out and I truly am a believer of you lose weight from calories in calories out meaning for my height and my weight and my age and my activity there's a little machine on my fitness pal that tells me oh you should eat 1400 calories a day or 1600 calories a day or 2200 calories a day that's what it logs and then you just type in or scan it has a scanner all the food you're eating and it'll tell you how many calories you're eating at the end of the day when you start to get closer to your calories you know okay let me stop if I don't have that I'm not really in control I feel like I don't keep track as good I feel like because you don't want to track your food the rest of your life I get that but I feel like just in the beginning for me it was a great tool like I said it might not be for you that might not be a good thing because you don't want to obsess over what you're eating you still want to enjoy yourself but for me tracking calories in calories out is very important and I've tried to not use my fitness pal and just do portion control I can do it I know what I'm supposed to be eating and I I am a walking my fitness pal I know how much a cup of something is I know how much you know 28 grams of something looks like um 
but I'd rather use my fitness pal. It's just easier and I've adapted to it and it's helped me. I've lost 135 pounds. So do you need it? I think you should try it. I think it helps along your journey to keep you on track. And there's a lot of fun, you know, people to talk to on there, friends, there's a community. Um, you could put pictures, you can put up your meal. If you eat it, just take a picture of it and send it to my fitness pal. It keeps me motivated and inspired to keep going. So I love my fitness pal. That's first and foremost. Next thing you need on a weight loss lifestyle change or journey. I call it a weight loss journey. Water. You need a water jug. If you don't want to drink water, drink flavored water that's zero calories. Drink diet soda if you want to. Drink whatever you want but add some water too. Put lemon in it, put berries in it, put flavoring in it, whatever you need to do to get it in, get some water in. I drink a gallon a day. This one's a 32 ounce bottle. I fill it up four times. It gets me close to my gallon. Um, my other one's a half gallon. I drink that twice a day. I get my gallon in, so water. Second thing is a must have to be successful at your weight loss journey, in my opinion. These are my favorites. They might not all be yours, but even if you can take one or two things and be like, man, that would really help me on my journey, then that's all I'm here for. Measuring spoons. I have so many of these, but these match and I thought they were cute, so I grabbed them. Measuring spoons, every single size. Measuring cups, every single size. I use these faithfully, faithfully. And I typically know what I'm weighing out or measuring out by the looks of it, but I still use them. It's been three years and I still use these because I'm serious about my lifestyle, so I take it seriously. So I want to use these. After you get good at it, and like I said, you start to really know your body and know what you can and can't eat, you could do it without these, but I need these. Because <laughs> Joy does not have that... I'm like the angel and the devil. Angel's like, Joy, you're trying to tone up and lose a little bit more weight. You better use your measuring cups in my fitness pal. And the devil's like, eat the chocolate cake. Screw the cups. Screw the measuring cups. <laughs> That's my problem. So measuring cups are a must. Okay. Scale. This is so rinky-dink and old and ugly. It's like old school colors and everything. It was like $8. I've had it for a long time. My husband got it, I think. Um, I know he paid 8 bucks. I don't know if he paid 8 bucks at a yard sale or if he paid 8 bucks at a store, but he brought it home to me. And it works great. It does grams. It does ounces. It works great. You just put your plate on it. So you set it down, you put your plate on it, and you start putting your food on your plate. And each thing will weigh out. And if you want to start over with a different item, you zero it out and start over. It's so simple, you guys. You cannot go wrong. And what I've learned, in my opinion, is that this is more accurate than these measuring cups. This actually gives you more food. Unless you do heaping, heaping amounts in your measuring cup. But if you're really leveling it out, this is more accurate and will give you more food, I promise. So I would weigh your food. You get more bang. And it tells you the serving and the amount it's supposed to weigh on the back. Like... If it's supposed to weigh 3.2 grams or 2.6 ounces, whatever it's supposed to weigh, it tells you on the back of the food usually. So the scale, that's another must-have for me, and I believe it's, it's a good thing to have when you're trying to lose weight, especially if you're serious on a real journey and you've got a long ways to go. A scale is so handy and so helpful. Um, another thing, I'm going to reach over. Tubware. Meal prepping. Now I don't think you need to meal prep to lose weight. I do think it helps, so why not? I really do think it helps to have just even some foods in the fridge meal prepped in containers. Because there are nights we're all human where we're tired, we worked late, we don't want to cook, or we were with the kids all day, we don't want to cook, and we're exhausted. Grab a meal out of the fridge and microwave it meal prepping containers. These were from the dollars. No, I lied. These are from Walmart. And I got a stack of like eight of them for under, I think it was under $5, something like that. But these are handy. And then I also use these little cups. This is a half a cup bowl. So instead of measuring, sometimes I just put some yogurt in here or cottage cheese. And I know it's a half a cup leveled out. 
and it's a little bowl for me to eat out of. It keeps your portion control. If you don't want to do calories in, calories out, because you don't feel like logging them and messing around like that, that's awesome. You don't have to. But portion control. You've got to do portions. This is a cup serving. So if I want a cup of cottage cheese, yogurt, soup, whatever. I know if I put it in this little bowl, it's a cup. I don't even have to measure it and I can eat it right out of there. It's just, it's nice to have portion. These are also a cup serving. And I put dips in here, veggies in here, all kinds of stuff. Take it to work. This is a two cup serving. I tend to use these to eat my frozen mango, my frozen berries. I do half of this and I know it says right on it, one cup and it has a line. Portion control. Take it to work. Has lids. These are handy. These are by Ziploc. I got these at Walmart. And then I have so many, but I'm just showing you guys a few. And these ones are a little bit bigger. I put like my egg salad, tuna salad, chicken salad, veggies, any berries I cut up, any of that, and these bigger ones for the week. And then I got these little guys to take to work. I'll put like chicken salad in or something like that. So make sure they have lids, make sure they're portioned decently. You don't want to get the big, huge ones unless you're someone that I have a friend. She eats in bulk because she likes to eat, you know, in bulk, but she eats vegetables. So she gets the like, I don't know what they are, um, eight quart or something. They're big. Um, Ziploc containers, but she fills it with cucumbers or lettuce or um, I don't know, mainly cucumbers. Let's be real, that's what she likes. But it works for her, and she's lost 115 pounds so far just by um, eating tons of bulk veggies, and then she eats like lean proteins, and every now and then lower like carbs, like an apple or nectarine or something. But um, it works for her. So Ziploc containers work. I'm proven fact of that. <laughs> All right, next, what I've realized over my journey that I need because I, when you buy sweet stuff in the store, it's got all this processed sugar and it's okay in moderation. But I found for like cooking, baking, mixing up Greek yogurt myself, making stuff sweeter that I want sweeter, you need some kind of sweetener and I buy stevia this is the texture of sugar it's just regular stevia Walmart brand it was a few bucks and I've had this for over a year and it's still here it's full like well not full quarter three quarters full and then I buy the liquid one this one's the main one I use sweet drops it's also stevia it has this little dropper and I drop this in like plain Greek um, fat-free yogurt and add some berries. And now I got flavored dessert for no calories. This has no calories and it's from a leaf. So it's natural. It's not bad for you from what I know. I'm not a health physician, but from what I know. Um, you can mix this in peanut butter, put it in your um, pancake batter. I mean, whatever. The sky's the limit with stevia, in my opinion. But there's other better tasting ones out there. There's monk fruit. There's other ones. Just play around and try whichever ones you like. Um, next go-to that I think you must have is cooking oil spray. Cooking oil spray and olive oil. Light olive oil or, you know, any kind of olive oil, avocado oil. Healthy oils and cooking spray. Because when I used to cook my eggs or anything, I would just dump some oil in it and cook it and that's so many calories and we don't think of that. When I started realizing I was eating four or five, six hundred extra calories just from cooking in a frying pan, I found spray and it's just one spray and you don't need any more than that, I promise you. I promise you. And if I do need a little bit of liquid to cook something up, I just add a tablespoon or two of water. Spray is important in my journey. Okay, let me put this out of the way. The next thing I feel that's really important is a scale. Now, if you're one of those people that don't want to be defined by the scale and the scale is something that if you gain three ounces, you're pissed the rest of the week and then you go eat whatever you want in the kitchen. I was that person. I was. Um, <laughs> 
then maybe don't have the scale or have it but put it up in a closet and have somebody you love take it down for you once a month or something I weigh myself once a week sometimes twice a week but usually once a week and I do it on like uh, Saturday morning right when I get up I take my first bathroom break and I'm naked right before the shower and I hop on the scale and I get my dry weight I've slept good that's my natural weight and that's what I record because once you're moving around your body literally just starts building adrenaline and gets heavier and drinking water taking your vitamins whatever you may be doing drinking your coffee you don't want to weigh after all that after you use the bathroom and when you first wake up that's when you want to weigh but once a week do it in moderation if you have to do it every day fine but don't let the scale define you don't let it break you down there's times where I'm up four pounds and then the next day I'm down five pounds and it doesn't make any sense at all so don't let it define you but for me it holds you accountable so if you're up 10 pounds and you know you had a cheat day two days ago and ate some Popeye's chicken and went and had some Dairy Queen Sundays well it's gonna hold you accountable right we're gonna be like whoa I gained 10 pounds and this whole week I'm getting my you know together so scale this is a um, a uh, battery operated one me and my husband we bought this at he said we got it at Fred Meyers and it was under 20 bucks and I love it it does just what I need to do but it's not a fancy one okay the next thing dun, 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 dun. I got a ninja it doesn't have to be a ninja but if you're someone that likes smoothies I love smoothies if you're someone that likes to drink smoothies every now and then to get your breakfast in I'm not a big breakfast person so for me for green juices smoothies get my vitamins in a good blender does the trick so this is a recommend I don't think you need it to lose weight especially if you don't like smoothies or green drinks or to juice or anything like that but I have a blender and a juicer because every now and then I I want to kick my um, metabolism up into gear and get a lot of fruits and veggies in and juicing and blending is a great way to do that and I'm not gonna pick up that big guy well yeah no we're not gonna pick him up hold on one second this I brought him over here he's an air fryer I got the jumbo one That's all you do close it right here a computer pops on and it tells you the temperature I click it all the way up to 400 click it to like 10 minutes and it cooks whatever the heck I want it to cook and I'm not kidding when I say I always use 400 and I always do 10 minutes every now and then I'll do 15 but for mostly everything 10 minutes at 400 gets everything crispy and it the air fryer is amazing Walmart has them for like $40, $30, something like that, and they go up to like 80 bucks, 60 bucks, depends on what kind you want. That's a jumbo one. My Aunt Vicky actually got me that, my Aunt Lynn and my Aunt Vicky, um, for Christmas two years ago, and I love it. It has really helped me on my journey. She actually got me the blender too, you guys, now that I'm thinking of it, and these things really help me. You know, they were getting me stuff for Christmas presents that would help me on my journey, and I appreciate that. But the air fryer makes food crispy. I mean, when you're on your journey, you crave like fried chicken, put it in the air fryer. You crave French fries, cut up a sweet potato or a regular potato, put it in the air fryer. That makes the best potatoes. I put green beans, broccoli, cauliflower, chicken, potatoes, um, roasted tomatoes, zucchini, asparagus whatever it is your heart desires put it in the air fryer meatballs I've done it all and my guys love it too so for me that's a must because it drops all the oil out and you don't ever have to worry about frying food again in my opinion okay let's get on to the little foods um, that have been my staple for three years now I've showed you guys what I like to eat and faves I've showed you that but these are like staples that I've used for three years on and off for one, eggs. These are egg whites and these are eggs. And I use them both. Eggs from day 
one have been my staple from three years ago till now eggs why high protein low calorie they fill you up they're clean energy I like eggs I really highly suggest you incorporate at least a serving of eggs or two or three into your diet every day they really do fill you up and I feel like I stay full for a while when I incorporate eggs I do egg salad I do hard-boiled eggs um, scrambled eggs omelets egg muffins on one of my meal preps I made egg muffins if you're interested um, yeah I just love eggs I put eggs on my rice cakes put an over easy egg on everything rice cake with some cream cheese so this cream cheese over easy egg bomb so good this is another staple of mine rice cakes I have chocolate I have caramel I have the cheddar and I have the everything those are my four favorites to, it really depends on your taste buds but for me my favorite favorite is the chocolate my second favorite is the cheddar white cheddar it tastes like white cheddar popcorn you guys it even has that white powder on it that's like white cheddar popcorn you guys know what I'm talking about with the black smart food bag I think it is of popcorn that's what's on the rice cakes so give them a try with a like measure out a tablespoon of cream cheese put it on there so good and the everything bagel or everything rice cake tastes like everything bagel I like these this is a new find for me and I like them I think we got them at Walmart probably because I shop at Walmart a lot so that was a staple for me that basically these replaced my bread they replaced my bread another staple I replaced my peanut butter with this PB fit This is 70 calories for two tablespoons, and this is the chocolate PB Fit, so it tastes like Reese peanut butter cup. It's so good. Or even maybe like Reese peanut butter cup or Nutella mixed together. It's really good. They have regular if you just like peanut butter. They have PB2, PB Fit, different kinds. This jar lasts me probably about a year, and 70 calories for two tablespoons. My peanut butter in the cabinet's like 190 calories for two tablespoons. It's crazy. And this is real ground up peanuts. The ingredients are peanuts, cane sugar, cocoa, and salt. Because remember, it's a chocolate peanut butter one. They grind it up, and this is what you get. You mix it with two tablespoons of water, and you got two, two tablespoons of peanut butter. So, I love that. These are all just lower calorie options that I use. This has been a favorite of mine for years instead of buttering your rice cakes or tortillas or bread if you use bread I don't too much but sometimes spraying the pan if you want butter on your broccoli butter on your veggies whatever this tastes just like butter and it's zero calories zero calories for one spray I use about five sprays so you're probably getting probably five calories if zero calories for one I'm guessing it's very low for five but it's I cannot believe it's what is it I can't believe it's not butter it's just a spray great idea it's very helpful when you're trying to lose weight and you're someone that likes to put butter on things very helpful and it's good to sprout if you're someone that's eating popcorn on your journey to lose weight because popcorn is something if you get the fat free or you know the lower calorie popcorn you can eat a bulk amount of it for a small amount of calories spray this and add some of the flavoring you got some good popcorn speaking of popcorn individual snack size snacks are good to have on your journey because we're human and every now and then we get cravings and if you live with other people like I do these guys have so many snacks in those cupboards and so I have my own snacks I hate this popcorn <laughs> I'm just gonna be real I hate it it tastes like nothing like I'm Chewing on paper, it tastes like nothing. Air, cardboard, hate it. The brand is not the problem. It's just this plain popcorn is very plain. However, spray a little bit of this on it and then season it up with the popcorn seasoning. They have like ranch, cheddar, jalapeno, Parmesan garlic, I have them all. Then it makes it good and it's no calories. This is 80 calories for a bag so if you're gonna go with size of popcorn like um, individual servings 
at least get a flavored one if you're not going to flavor it at home with like your seasonings because this is um, very plain. I'm just being honest. I don't want you guys to go get this and be like, Joy, you said this was good. No, I didn't. I said I make it good with seasonings. But yeah, I like it because it comes in individual bags. They didn't have the flavored ones in my Walmart in individual bags. They only have the plain. Staple, I cannot go. I go through a pack of gum every two days. I'm not kidding you. I have a Costco sized box in my cupboard of this gum, Sweet Mint Orbit. And I don't know why, but this for the last few years, I think because I quit smoking many years ago, it's been like eight years, I think now. I chewed gum and then I more intensely started chewing gum when I started losing weight because when I first started I would get anxiety and I would think about food and people around me would be eating and I want to eat it and then you're constantly thinking about it popping three or four pieces and I'm not kidding I pop three or four in my mouth and chew it it's just a couple calories five calories for one stick so 20 calories I chew it for five six hours spit it out I didn't eat junk and I got a little sweet mint in my mouth and when your mouth's a little bit minty it, it I don't know why I know this sounds weird but it takes your appetite away a little bit so gum for me I'm not saying this needs to be in your <laughs> weight loss journey but for me it helped so it's just a little recommendation to try try your favorite gum I'm so mad my nail just came off gosh I waited so long with COVID to go get my nails done and it just literally popped off like it was nothing. All right, next staples. <laughs> These are things I use constantly, especially if I'm on the go. Tuna Creations, this is a sweet, sweet and spicy. These are 90 calories. You buy them at Walmart, you can buy them at Albertsons, really anywhere. And I just go at it with a plastic fork at lunch or something. Protein, low calorie. Chicken, if you don't like tuna. They have chicken and they have a little thing of crackers and they have the mix and they have the little spoon. This is also a nice one to have. I don't eat a lot of the time the crackers. I replace it with celery, but every now and then I'll eat four crackers. It's not a big deal. I'm not like that strict anymore. I was for a very long time though. I do still want to lose weight and I definitely want to tone up my skin. These are a staple. Another grab and go. Turkey bites. Love them. This was on my other video of my favorites. I just feel like you guys just need to find a few snacks that are lower calorie that when you do get a craving for a junk, because these are kind of, they're not the greatest snacks in the world. At least you have something that's for you and you're not eating the donuts or the ice cream like I have here. These, if I get a candy craving, sweet smarts. Walmart is starting to sell these. I think Target might be starting to sell these and you can get them online. These are pretty good. For what they are, and they're 80 calories, you guys, these only have three grams of sugar for the whole bag. If your kids like candy, I would recommend giving them these. I'm trying to see if they have, um, yeah, no, it's made with stevia. So it doesn't even have any of like the sugar alcohols. I would give these to my grandbabies. Protein bars, any one of choice. I like the Fit Crunch. This tastes like a chocolate peanut butter candy bar. I love it. Walgreens sells them. Um, Walmart sells them. Um, one of my friends told me she went to buy them, but they weren't a double pack. And they were like four, almost 400 calories or something. So look for the single pack. Don't, don't get the double pack because you'll eat them both. They're that good. I love having a nut around like almond or a pistachio. These are little 100 calorie packs. I always say 100 calorie. They're 130 calorie packs. And they give you a good helping, like probably a half cup serving of pistachios. And that's good protein. And it's a snack that you have to open the shell and eat it. So you're going to take your time, which takes your mind off of food. And if you've ever been in that situation, you'll know what I'm talking about because that's how I am constantly. I'm getting better over the years, but it's not easy. Sugar snap peas. I love this. They're sweet. They're crunchy. I didn't like them so much at first, but I love them now. It's a good snack. 
So just some snacks, guys. That's all that was. And then I always have some kind of to-go salads. These ones I love at Costco. They're a good deal and they're a good amount. 260 and 240 calories. Or 280 and 240 calories. This one's a BLT salad. So chicken, bacon, lettuce, tomato, croutons, ranch. And this one's a Southwest. And it's got the corn, black beans, chicken, um, little tortilla chips, cheese, croutons, and Southwest dressing. These are really good. You have one of these. You have an apple. Um, you have your water. And then when you get hungry, you have a snack. There you go. You have your lunch and a snack. And if you didn't bring breakfast either, here's a protein bar. Add that in. Or here's some chicken and crackers. Add that in. It's really easy. It really is. We make it harder than it needs to be. We really do. I did. I did for like six months. I didn't know what I was doing. I had to learn along the way. I watched a lot of weight loss um, inspired videos like the ones I'm making for people. And the reason I'm making these, you guys, is because I've watched them and they helped me. So why not help someone else like they helped me? So that's the reason I make my videos. But enough rambling. Um, I think that's it. If you like this video and you've watched and you're at the end of the video, look down and just hit that thumbs up button. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see a certain kind of video, someone asked me for a get ready with me. I don't really do too much to get ready, but I made one. I made one as if I was going to go to work, a get ready with me. So if, or, and I, someone asked me to do an exercise video on the floor, a quick video that they could do with their kid at home. And I made one of those too. So just, if you want to see a certain video, I'll make it. It doesn't have to be about health, but generally I do like to focus on health, but it doesn't have to be. If you want a tour of my house, me and my husband, um, and May just had our second year. We bought our own home, which is a big deal for us. And, um, yeah, I love it. So if you want a tour of our house, if you want to meet my family and my big old dog and my cats and my bearded dragon, whatever it is, or if you just have a question about one of these things I mentioned, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. And remember, like, comment, subscribe. It doesn't hurt you to hit the thumbs up. Really, I promise. <laughs> Anyways, love you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. And remember, you can do this. I did it. I lost 135 pounds. Look at my before pictures in my other video. I was almost 300 pounds. I did it. I'm not done, but I did do 135 pounds. You can do it too. You can. Just follow what I'm putting up and you'd be able to do it, really portion and eat this stuff or even eat whatever you want. If you want bacon, eggs, and toast, eat it. But just have one slab of bacon, one piece of toast, and one egg. Just portion. And if you're someone that's like, I can't go that far yet because you like eating in bulk, cut out your soda, cut out your juice, drink more water. One step is a journey from a lifetime or for a lifetime. One step. That's all it takes. Give yourself, say, I'm going to do this for five days and see what happens. If you do it for five days, let me know. Start today, do it for five days, and then let me know how it went and how much weight you lost. Just by portioning or leaving out soda or any, whatever your choice is. Trying, that's the key. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button. Love ya. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.